Hey guys, this is Dev Tigris, and welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create React components. I'm not going to go into all different ways in which we can create React components in this tutorial to make things really simple and understandable. So I'm going to go ahead and create a JavaScript function. I'm going to call it button. I'm going to create a function and this will be actually treated by the JSX transpiler as a component. Components usually return some kind of HTML structure. So I'm going to return and I'm going to basically type the code right here. I'm going to create an HTML button I'm going to give it a class name of press me or something like that. I'm also going to attach on click. Notice that the C in on click has to be capitalized. I'm going to open the curly brackets. These brackets cannot be empty. So whatever you do with events in JSX you have to type something in there. In this case, I'm just going to use an arrow function. And I'm just going to say clicked. And then here, I'm going to put some kind of a value inside the HTML button. Click me, for example. And I'm going to close the button tag. And now we just have to close the return the function bracket and so we have just successfully created a react component so how do we render it on the screen notice that I already have an ID root here which is the root container of our application so I'm gonna grab that get element by ID and to render that inside this we're gonna use react dom react render render method and to display this button we're going to take this name and again we're using JSX so it's going to automatically transpile for us we're going to use button we're going to use root that we have just created right here which relates to this HTML element because we're going to render the button into this element and this is optional you don't really have to do that but we're going to also create an arrow function that will display something on the console when this button is finished rendering actually this should say render not react and this button was rendered so I'm going to save that and I'm going to refresh the browser to see the results. And so we have this click me button which comes from here and you will see in the console here this button was rendered which came from this arrow function which is a callback function and let's go ahead and click and see what happens. And you will see that this arrow function right here keeps firing because we have the on click event generating this message and so this is the very basic idea behind creating react components and rendering them in some kind of a target element and at the very basics this is really how react works of course the button could have been anything not just the HTML button it could have been a list of things or whatever it is that your application is required to render but basically reactive programming is all about creating these elements and components displaying them on the screen and doing a bunch of things with them I hope that this explains something new about react components especially if you're coming to react from traditional JavaScript background this is really as simple as it gets there's a lot more to react programming and I'm gonna cover that in my next tutorial 
So thanks for watching this tutorial and I'll see you next time.